morning kids how are you today well today it's monday and we are starting a new week well today we are going to work with comparatives and superlatives let's remember the rules for these structures so let's start with the comparatives we use the comparatives to compare to things animals places or people okay Remember, we are going to compare two, just two. This is important, okay? For example, we have Charlie and John. We have two people. Now, let's go with the superlatives. We use the superlatives to compare one thing, animal, place, or person, with a group. Here we have the difference between superlatives and comparatives. When we use comparatives, we are going to compare two, only two people, for example. And when we use superlatives, we are going to compare one person with a group. Do you remember the difference? Well, let's continue. To work with comparatives and superlatives, always we are going to use adjectives. Do you remember adjectives? The adjectives are words that we use to describe people, animal, places, okay? So here I have some examples. We have tall, big, short, strong, fast, handsome, and ugly. All of them are adjectives. Now let's continue with the rules of comparatives. The rule of the comparatives says you are going to add E R to the adjectives. Okay? You are going to add E R at the end of the adjectives to make a comparison. Let's check the examples. Okay? Charlie is taller than John. In this example, I am making a comparison between Charlie and John. I am using the adjective tall. Remember, the rule says you are going to add ER at the end of the adjective. So, the adjective is taller. Charlie is taller than John. Okay, now let's go with the next example. Butterflies are lighter than worms. Butterflies are lighter than worms. Here it's really important that you check that we always use the verb to be. The verb to be is or the verb to be are. Remember that we use is when we are talking about singular and are when we are talking of plural. Check the subjects. Charlie, it's one. Butterflies are many or some. Okay? Singular and plural. Now let's go with the superlative rules. For the superlative rules, we have you are going to add EST at the end of the adjectives. Okay? You are going to add EST at the end of the adjectives. 
Let's check the examples. Example number one. Charlie is the tallest of the group. Charlie is the tallest of the group. Now let's go with the second example. Giraffes are the tallest animals on the earth. So, here, Charlie, we are making a comparative between Charlie and a group. Check in the adjective, tall, I am adding the EST at the end. Because the rule says you have to add EST. Again, we have singular and plural. Charlie is one. Giraffes are some. Singular and plural. I want that you notice something. In superlatives, we are going to use the word the. The tallest. The tallest. Okay? Always after the verb to be, we are going to use the word the. And in the comparatives, we are going to use the word than after the, uh, the, uh, the adjective. We are going to use the word than. Charlie Stoller than John. Well, guys, here we have Another thing that I want that you remember. You have to copy this, guys. You have to copy this in your notebook. Let's continue now with some rules. Remember, guys, that we are making just a review of comparatives and superlatives. Okay? So, here. Uh, we have some rules for the adjectives. Do you remember that if we have an adjective that have consonant, vowel, consonant, we are going to double the last consonant. Look here. Big. It's a short adjective and it finishes with Consonant, vowel, consonant. So the rule says you are going to double the last consonant. In this case, the last consonant is the letter G. Vigor for comparatives. And vigus for superlatives. You are going to double the G. Okay? Now, this is the first rule. Consonant, vowel, consonant rule. Now, let's go with the next rule. Ugly. If the adjective finishes with Y, we are going to change this Y for the letter I. And we are going to add ER. Do you see? Here we are changing the Y for I. And we are going to add ER in the case of comparatives. And in the case of superlatives, we are going to add EST, ugliest. Now, let's go with the next rule. The next rule says, if the adjective is a long adjective, like in the case of handsome, it could be beautiful, luxury, okay? We have a, a list of long adjectives. In this case, we are going to work with handsome. When we have a long adjective, we are going to add the word more. More handsome. Because it's a long adjective. In the case of comparatives, we are going to use more. And in the case 
of superlatives, we are going to use the word must. Must handsome. Remember that the rule says if it is a long adjective, you are going to use must or more. For example, if I have here the word beautiful, more beautiful or most beautiful. Okay, guys, please copy the rules for the adjectives in your notebook. Okay, guys, here is your homework. You are going to work in your notebook. Again, it says read the sentences and write comparative or super superlative. The objective of this homework is that you can uh, know where, uh, which sentence is a comparative sentence or which is a superlative sentence, okay? Number one, Sally is smarter than Gina. Here in the line, you are going to write superlative or comparative. Okay? Well, guys, it's all for today. Uh, see you tomorrow and have a nice day. Remember to send me your homeworks to my email, please. And... Write to my email if you are not sure about something.